Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Tuesday, March 4th, <coughs> 2014, sorry. And this is the evening daily light on the daily path. He bowed his shoulder to bear. Take, my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for an example of suffering afflictions and of patience. Now all these things happened unto them for examples, and they are written for our admon admonination, upon whom the end of the world are come. Shall we receive good at the hand of God, and shall we not receive evil? In all this did not Job sin with his lips. Aaron held his peace. It is the Lord. Let him do what seemeth him good. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And that came from these verses. Genesis chapter 49, verse 15. And he saw that rest was good, and the land that it was pleasant, and bowed his shoulder to bear, and became a servant unto tribute. James chapter 5 verse 10 Take, my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for an example of suffering, afflictions, and of patience. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 11 Now all these things happened unto them for examples, and they are written for our admon ad admonition upon whom the end of the world are come. Job chapter 2 verse 10 And he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God, and shall not we receive e and shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. Leviathan Leviticus, sorry, Leviticus, chapter 10, verse 3. Then Moses said unto Aaron, This is it that the Lord spake, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh me. And before all the people I will be glorified, and Aaron held his peace. 1 Samuel, chapter 3, verse 18. And Samuel told him every wit, and hid nothing from him, and he said, It is the Lord. Let him do what seemeth him good. Psalms chapter 55 verse 22 Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 4 Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. And the last verses are from Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And just to, in case you didn't know, this is Jesus speaking. Again, verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that are labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 29. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Verse 30. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And that is the evening daily light on the daily path for Tuesday, March 4th. 2014. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. 
May the Lord have mercy on us all. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, cry out to him. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. Christians, if you're rebelling, repent. Rebellions are far worse than sins. You know you shouldn't be doing it, yet you do it anyways. Pray to him daily. He loves that divine intimacy with you. He desires it. And then spread the good word. Whether you be man, woman, or child, it is your joy, or it should be your joy. It should be your pleasure. It should be your need, desire, to let others know about his wondrous love, about his meekness, about his humility, about how he sacrificed himself for us, about his love, kindness, but also about that sins are bad, that he hated sins. He hates sins, not the sinner, but the sins. I love you guys so very much. God bless.